This episode is going to be awesome. Welcome back to Water Park Rangers Let's Play Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. In the last episode, we made it to the heart of the Palace of Shadow, all the way down here. Rather, the dark depths. Anyway, the music in this place, if you can call it music, I can't find it anywhere on the official soundtrack, I can't find it anywhere on YouTube, which is a shame because it's awfully bone chilling, really cool sounding. If you know what it's called or where you can find it, Please feel free to leave it in the comments below, not just for me, but for anyone else who can, like, listen to this, because it's good for chilling your bones on a warm night, <laughs> as they say. Not really sure who says that, but I know I've heard it said. Anyway, looks like we're set. We're going to go on through that door and face the big, big boss. Let's do this. This room makes me feel bad, but it seems familiar. What is this chamber? Well, not surprised you don't remember it too well, seeing it's as it's been about a thousand years. <laughs> we finally meet, Mario! Oh, we get to meet Mario? I'd love to meet him. I'm Greg Gonzalez. How do you? I've been looking forward to this, I must admit. Gr Grotus? Yes, correct! I am the supreme leader of the secret society of x Knots. I am Grotus. But I'm getting ahead of myself. I really must express my thanks to you first. And do you know why? You've gathered together all the crystal stars I was seeking. No, so the last crystal star we found on the moon? We played into their hand. <laughs> You just realize now, do you? Yes, instead of taking the few crystal stars you fools had bubbled into, it was far easier to let you find them all and open the thousand year door for me. How kind of you to bring them all here to me! All I had to do was entrust the last crystal star to my least competent underling. I don't suppose Crump had any idea of my plan, though. Gah, 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 gah. So whether he beat you or lost to you, the crystal stars would be together in mine either way. Pure genius. Now, I thought the shadow signs would do a little more to slow your progress. But it appears that they are so useless that even this small task was beyond them. No matter. Now I get the pleasure of sending you to oblivion. Be careful, Mario. Once you fools are gone, no one will stand in my way. Grudis will rule the world! We won't let that happen! Now, come! Meet your ends, you meddlesome fools! You will know my power! So what is there to know? Alright, this guy functions like a super-powered yucks. He's got those little shield generators, and unless you can defeat them, there's no way you're going to be able to hurt him. So first things first, since he's a boss, power lift. That's just a fundamental rule. You don't know it by now, I don't know how many episodes you've been missing. Chances are you missed every single boss battle episode uh, since after Macho Grubba, which was how we got the star. Honestly, I always found it kind of funny that, like, he was using this power for his own ends, but then pretty much what we do is take it from him and just use it for our own ends. And, I mean, we are trying to save the world, but we are kind of, like, using stolen power to do it, aren't we? So, plus four offense? This is actually one of the mightiest power lifts we've ever managed to bring up. Perfect for this battle. We're gonna wreck him. One little flame burst, and bam! All his projectiles are gone. Imagine how much damage we can do to him now that his main body's exposed. And we were lucky, so his lightning didn't even hit us. I have a feeling we're going to be wiping the floor with this guy. So, although his individual nodes don't actually have that much HP, um, his main body has roughly 50 HP, I'm pretty sure. And it's really not that much, because we got super powered. We're already toasting right through him. He's probably more than halfway dead by this point. And he's on fire. So you have the metal to push me this far, but no more. So he's got a bunch of statting boosting move, uh, stat boosting moves too. Um, he can make himself dodgy. Pretty sure he can make himself more powerful, but I'm not sure about that. Anyway, you definitely don't want to leave those things alive, um, because... Oh, God! Darn it. Regardless, maybe this will still hit him. But you definitely don't want to leave the nodes alive, because they can also attack you individually. Besides generating the shield, they can hurt you. Ah, you will not stop me! Take this! Are we getting hit? Okay, we actually got hit that time. It's not doing that much, actually. 
We can make this. We can make this happen. This being your demise, Gordas. Anyway, we don't have our superpower anymore, so I'm gonna bring back our power lift. Because I just like stomping enemies into the dirt. <laughs> Time to teach this meddlesome fool to know his place. But he's the real meddlesome fool, he's meddling in our plans. <laughs> Unfortunately, that was such a good power lift, we're just not gonna be able to replicate its awesomeness. I was so focused on just, like, making that the ultimate power lift. Five plus points. Like, that was awesome. Four in offense and one in defense. It's just, like, the... That's the most favorable combination to me, honestly. Just having a little bit of extra defense is nice. And we already beat him. Ugh, no! Yep, that was really easy. Because we were really awesome. And on top of that, since we leveled up, um... We're going to be at full HP, FP, full star power, everything, once the next phase of the final bosses appears. Kind of the most favorable position to be in, to be perfectly honest with you. Uh, you are more than you seem. But this is not finished. I saw even this possibility. Huh? Watch this! Where am I? Sorry, Hotel Mario reference. Couldn't help it. Mario! Princess Peach! Move one step, and she will breathe no more. You wouldn't! Now try this! Mario! Kek, kek, kek! Now! Again! No! Mario! What should we do, Mario? We won't make it if we don't attack him. Attack! Stop your blubbering! This is it! Meet your end! What? Bowser! That was a surprise. I didn't think I'd fall. Have I put on weight? Your chunkiness? Are you okay? Gwarf! Why is Mario here? And Peach as well? I don't know what's going on here, but I'm gonna put an end to it right now! Mario, first I pound you, then I take the princess, and then the treasure! What? This is unbelievable! All this in Bowser too? Gwar! <laughs> oh, I want that from Battle Mario! Yes, easy pickings! Today is the day I flush a plumber down the drain! Of course, we're not really worn out since we just leveled up, but he doesn't know that. Gwar! <laughs> What's the finale without a Bowser appearance, huh? A cruddy finale, that's what! Now hold still, I trounce you and take my peach! Mario, you sniveling bug! This is it for you! <laughs> Alright, this is gonna be a little tougher. Um, I personally think this is a bit, bit tougher than Grotus, despite the fact that he might have more tricks. Well, that's hard to say. Seeing as, um, Kami Koopa has a lot of stat and magic related abilities. So actually, you're gonna want to get rid of her first. Bowser's the big physical powerhouse, but it's even worse if he's powered up, and we don't want that. So first things first, we're gonna power ourselves up. We got a pretty good standard power lift going here. Um, I'd expect nothing less. 2 plus, 2 plus. Very good. And with that, we're going to go for Fiery Jinx. Vivian is really useful in these final battles, if you couldn't tell. Like, she doesn't have a ton of uses in the, um, earlier parts of the dungeon. Or I suppose, like, the... What was it? Last episode? Yeah, that part of the dungeon we were going through. But in these final battles, she really shines. <laughs> I sure do feel good today. I'm feeling it! Lord Bowser! Lord Bowser! Rah, rah, rah! Get him! Lucky, man, we're just getting all the luck. All of it. Burning him up, okay. Let's focus on you first. Power Bounce should make you learn your lesson. Stop casting those nasty spells my way. She doesn't have all that much HP, but apparently even that wasn't enough to kill her, so she's hardier than she looks. Give her that much. But with this Fire Jinx, we'll see if she can stand. Apparently she can! Oh well. Also, I'm not sure if you can guard against that Bowser Bite. I know that there are some attacks in the game you just can't. And of course, that's why you want to take out Kami Koopa, because she's just made Bowser invisible, and therefore impossible to hit. 
So we're gonna have to avoid his attacks for a little while. At least we took her out. Forgive me, Lord Bowser! I have nothing left. Alright, Bale. That's a good move to use, too. See, Vivian has that fire multi-hitting strike, which is really great, but B Bale is also really amazing, because you can avoid BS instances like this, where you can't hurt Bowser, but he can still hurt you. Oh, well, it only works for one round, though. Oh, man, he got rid of our jumping ability, so no more power bounce. We're just gonna have to use power smash from here on out, I suppose. Well, that's the way the cookie crumbles. That's a really unique ability. Not sure who else really has that. That's, this is the only fight I can think of where they can take away your hammer. Jeez. So let's see how much a power smash does without it being powered up against Bowser. I know he's got some defense. Still does 8, though. That's pretty nice. Overall, Bowser has a lot of HP. If I had to take a swing or a guess at how much he has, I think a safe bet would be roughly 80. That sounds about right to me. Because he's probably got to have more than Grotus. Because Grotus is kind of frail compared to him. Oof! So, Mario, you still have some fight in you. Not bad. Oh, man. I know I can't jump, Bowser. Eh. I guess I shouldn't be complaining. At least it didn't take away the hammer. Anyway, we're in danger, so better to put Barbary out in front. Of course, Bowser still has his fire who can that can hurt both of us, so we do have to watch out for that. Might be a good idea to heal Mario here. Of course, because I'm a cheap person, I would rather use the sweet treat than the sweet feast. It's fair, we don't know how much longer this battle can go on. Might be longer than we'd expect, considering Bowser probably has close to 80 HP. At least we'll heal Mario a decent amount, and then he won't be killed by one hit from the fire, hopefully. Fire can't be that devastating to us. Uh, that could have been better. Right, nine? Yeah, but in the next good hit, Mario's probably gonna have to heal. Oh, crap! Now we're even closer to death than we were before! <laughs> okay, um, this is where we're gonna use Smooch. Darn it, I know that everyone hates Miss Mouse, but come on, that wasn't needed. I actually like this move because it's a good way to heal quickly. Now we have 10 HP for Mario, just like that. Uh, it's really costly for your FP, though. I'm pretty sure it might even take like 10, a 10 FP. Might be your, mo your single most FP consuming move in the game. So, yeah. It kind of like r converts raw FP into raw HP. Oh, boo! You didn't need to do that! He was already invisible thanks to Kami! Ugh. Oh well. Let's see what we can do. Vivian can bail us, so we can avoid that much more damage. And I suppose I can heal once more with Sweet Treat. Darn, Bowser's being more annoying than I thought he'd be. Good thing we healed uh, from Grotus. At least he's... If we use a Life Shroom, I'm going to be upset, because I want to save our Life Shrooms. Um, not saying we're ever going to end up needing to use one, because I've gotten better at the strategies needed for the final bosses, but like... I'd really hate to have to use one on him. <laughs> He's just so annoying. He's not really hard. Just the constant invisibility is being a pain. That fight is really hard to guard against. I was really proud that I could super guard that Bowser move. And we guarded that. Awesome. Okay. Let's just give him our full... Well, okay, or we can heal Mario. I don't even know what I'm thinking anymore. Maybe I'm just tired of Mario having to be heal over and over, and I think this is the last. At 22, we should not have to heal Mario anymore. From here, we can probably just defeat Bowser. Excellent! Yeah. Also, I'm pretty sure that Miss Mouse has an attack that goes through enemy defense. I'm not sure about that. Um, I think it might, though. Let's try it out. So, just tilt left and right. It's kind of weird, because not many other moves I can think of make you do this. And that wasn't even full power. Now, I'm starting to think it actually doesn't go through defense. It's just kind of a cruddy attack. Oh, well. But anyway, I'm going to use Supernova, because we haven't used it enough, if at all. Supernova is the move we got from defeating Lord Crump at the Exonaut Fortress, gotten from the final Crystal Star, the Crystal Star. It is the most star power consuming move in the game, at 6 nodules out of 8. So, I'm just showing it off here to show the drastic amount of damage it can do. You have to hit the A button a ridiculous amount of times to get it at full power. This is a full power Supernova. 15 damage. Arrgh! Oh, God, that smarted. 30 star points? Not bad. I feel like I deserved more. How could this happen? Phew, that was too close. At least we've got that thorn pulled out of our sides. Now, let's save Peach. Okie dokie. What? Where's Grotus? He's gone. Yay! That was definitely Grotus' scream. That was Peach! 
Yep, so he went behind the throne room. There's actually another room behind the throne room? What could it possibly be? Hidden behind the throne of the Dark Palace itself. We're only going to find out what's back there next episode. It's going to be even more intense.